the start of a journey underground and into a world often forgotten about in the internet age. This new train is based on London's mail rail, a system that began in 1927 and once carried up to four million letters and parcels per day from sorting offices to mainline train stations. Now, as part of the brand new Postal Museum, the original tunnels will soon be back in use, taking visitors along a small part of the 10 kilometre network. When the mail rail was actually working, the driverless trains travelled through these narrow tunnels at speeds of almost 50 kilometres an hour. Well, this train doesn't go anything like that fast, but you do get a really good sense of the atmosphere down here and an idea of how extensive the network was. As well as the train ride, visitors can explore some of the many abandoned platforms 20 metres under central London. And there's a side gallery to show the touchscreen generation what mail rail was all about. This is a fantastic example of how mail rail used to be run. So it's the 1927 switch frame which was used by the line controllers to switch electricity between sections of track. And using models like this, you're reminded that it was once cutting edge technology. It was a unique solution to London's congested streets which were delaying the mail catastrophically in the early part of the 20th century. So if you imagine the streets are full of horses, carts, trams, omnibuses, all sorts of things, Underground Railway is the solution. Ray Middlesworth is as excited as anyone about the new experience. He worked as an engineer from the 1980s until the system came to the end of the line in 2003, often using the original hardware. Well, this is a 1927 electric battery locomotive and it used to be used for uh, breakdowns, retrieving trains from the tunnel, uh, taking equipment down the tunnels. You had to nurse it along a little bit because it's quite old, but it's also tough and uh, very powerful. The system was wound down because as people switched to email, it became uneconomical to run, but tickets for its new incarnation are selling fast, suggesting a bright future for this hidden past. Nadine Barber, Al Jazeera, London.